Klein and Hank Williams, messages of love and patriotism. Here at the St. Mark's Bookshop in the East Village, there are some different kinds of stamps being sold, stamps that tell a slightly different story about America. These stamps, created by a female artist who wishes to remain anonymous, portray images of Amy Fisher, Tanya Harding, and Mike Tyson, and violent messages, automatic weapons, the World Trade Center explosion, the L.A. riots. They're selling very well, and I can't explain the attention they're getting other than, than the kind of collector culture that surrounds stamps. Uh -huh. A couple of thousand of these fake stamps have been sold at nearly triple the price of a regular stamp at about 83 cents each. These stamps are not, uh, the Amy Fishers, etc., are not examples of uh, stamps that are now being issued by the U.S. Postal Service. While not U.S. issues, they are not illegal because they're not counterfeit, but don't expect mail delivery. On an individual letter basis, it would just be sent back for proper postage, create an inconvenience for themselves. Exactly. Would you like to mail letters with stamps like this? Mm -hmm, definitely. Why? <laughs> They're subversive. <laughs> Read to the IRS. Send a few there. I don't think that a lot of people would like to receive the letter, whether uh -huh. I would want to mail them that way. And as far as reality imitating art, don't look for the U.S. Postal Service to have a stamp of the Long Island Lolita or convicted rapist Mike Tyson anytime soon. In Manhattan, Jim Paymar, News 4 New York. I've never thought of stamps as subversive before. <laughs> anyway, next on News 4 at 6, you'll meet the Brits answer to Barney. His name is Mr. Blobby. Would you